Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you a simple peacock uh, design. I think a lot of you have been asking me for uh, for this particular uh, design. Um, and I think before I start off, I'd like to say that there are so many variations uh, to how it can be done. And uh, today I'll be showing you one of the most basic ones, which is going to um, uh, involve uh, a freehand drawing and cutout. So. Um, We'll start off. I have a well needed ball of clay. I'll just flatten it. So roughly I'm looking at a thickness of about 0 0.5 centimeter uh, thickness. Routine of uh, laying out, flattening this, uh, doing the slab and then um, smoothening it, uh, either using a knife or a rib. Now what I do is, um, so this is like a canvas sheet for me. Uh, it's, it's, it's like, how you would have like a paper and now you can use anything so I would just use like a an old refill that I have here so you can just start drawing out now in order to uh, draw out what I would do is I would firstly use a, a little small cutter this is just to give me a rough marking of the uh, of the head so you know I would just cut out like that I'm not I'm not cutting it out I'm just drawing a drawing a little circle that's all that's all is what I'm doing now I would draw a beak here, just a little beak. Remember this is a very light uh, drawing, not something which is extremely, um, not something which needs a lot of, um, not something which needs a lot of skill I would say. So you know. So once that's done, so it's just a rough picture. Now what happens is when you draw a rough picture, the main thing is don't don't worry about the outline inside don't you don't have to sorry you don't have to worry about the design part inside you can always fill it up later but try to uh, uh, draw out a nice outline so that because that's that's where you're going to be cutting and because this is freestyle uh, each time I think uh, you know if you have to make say two pieces or three pieces or multiple pieces of this um, I would suggest you draw this out on a paper and you know make it into a proper card like this uh, or rather a, a, a stiff uh, card so that you're able to just place it on and then you know make a cutout. So this I'm just drawing it out. I'm happy with the way the outline is um, and uh, I think the size like I said is roughly about an inch and then uh, an inch here and about two and a half inches here. So I cut it out. I would use I would prefer using an exacto blade for this. It's a knife for this. It's sharp. It's pointed. It gives me cre clean crisp cuts. So, you always want to maintain it straight. I have a basic shape here. Don't worry about the neatness right now. I'll get to it. I'll get to shaping it. But this, there you go. This is your, this is the basic shape that I would draw. Really simple. One of the most easiest ways of, of um, uh, doing a peacock. One of the variations of a peacock design. Uh, you must have seen this in the form of pendants and um, you know other metal jewelry also. So now I would get to shaping it. So if your clay is already very wet, don't add more water. Use uh, a clean hand, and you know because you always want to make sure your hands are not uh, containing those dried bits of clay. Because you try reusing it, you're going to be sticking the dried bits of clay again back onto this piece. So not a good idea. Just make sure you. You clean your hands. I'm just getting rid of that outline what I had drawn. I'll just cut off a little bit from here because I don't want it that pointed. There's a good chance it'll just chip off um, when I fire it. So I'm just smoothening the edges. Once that's done, 
you can use anything like a cutter for the curves that you want to um, give demarcating the neck in the head so I'll just use a little cutter here I'll draw a double line here I'll draw a double line here and I'll just mark the neck as well with a smaller cutter the same cutter what I had marked initially but just the beak this time. So if you see, I'm not putting the whole thing down. I'm just marking the beak. And then I get to the knife. We draw the eye. I'm just using this little nozzle, that's all. Can use the um, remember, I'm not pressing it completely, it's just to give a bit of an eyebrow kind of a, an effect. Just shaping a little bit. Okay. And now we'll do the this part. So what I would do is I'll look at making little um, petals uh, using just this. So you know you can you can go in a grady uh, in a in a gradient kind of a manner, and when I say gradient, I mean starting off from big to go to go small, or you can maintain the same size throughout. So if you want to go in the gradient in the you know in the ascending or the descending order, what you could do is you can use maybe a bigger um, cap or something, and then try and get. Something like this. So what I've done here is I've just put in three semicircles. Like I'm not pressing the cap on the hole. I'm just putting it like just to get a little curved line. That's all. And I would do the same thing on this side. That's it. Nothing more. I wouldn't do anything more than that. Now I would probably go on to a smaller size one and repeat it. Again, I'm just pressing it, you know, partially just to get that kind of an effect. That's all. Nothing, nothing else. Feathers have been done in that manner. Uh, I, I wanted to add one more thing. Um, that's just a little line, actually. Just little lines. So because this portion is heavily worked, I would I would want to do something uh, to change the texture of this place. I don't want to leave it plain. So I've just added little lines there. Nothing much. Now what I would do is I would just go on to dot this whole thing. It's a different, it's a different one altogether. What I would do now is because this is done, I would just put a little stick bead for the head here, like this. I would put it around a little bit around the feathers, just to make it a little bit, as usual, you know, a little grand. Um, and I think I wouldn't. Uh, uh, I think I always mention this. I wouldn't really put the stick beads very close to each other. I'd leave about a nail's 
um, nails distance between them this is a little tricky You may just want to make it into a little ball like this and then point the end giving it a teardrop kind of a shape not too not too sharp but I think this should do and then a gentle press you have a leaf shape that's been formed you can take a knife draw a line in this manner and then make it look like a leaf. I'm sorry, I think my hand would probably be covering a little bit, but it's a little unavoidable. <laughs> so um, have something like this. You can just put a pin, a U pin. Make sure these U pins are not too big because the bead itself is really tiny. So you have it's. This is a great alternative to also, uh, you know, these gunguru beads. Uh, everything it doesn't have to be all just plain round and it can also be like this and you can use these kinds of beads for multiple such purposes so it's good to have uh, have these uh, ready um, you know by chance because it's it's all, like i said it's always easier that these things are dried so i have i have some dried pieces here so i just add like just one to the edge of it And obviously the last portion which is the nichrome hook you make sure that it is obviously straight so you know you have a you have a point here you can mark it opposite and I would point it out over here that's it there you go this is a really simple um, simple freestyle cutting and uh, you know you just there's no mold that's being used here um, it just uh, it's, it's one of the most easiest ways one I would say one of the most easiest ways uh, there are obviously a lot of molds that are available of late uh, silicon based molds and uh, POP molds that are available uh, with the shape so it's easier but I think this is also a, a nice technique where you can just draw out a beautiful pattern if you're good at, you know, drawing. And this is a really simple drawing, which is why I decided to show you this. It's, you know, it doesn't require too much of a skill. You know, you can use the round for um, the head part, draw a beak, draw the neck and draw a beautiful little petal like structure down and then uh, draw these uh, these different feathers and you can make a lot of variations to this you can add lines make it look more authentic uh, you know you can you can just draw like straight lines on and then paint it uh, in uh, peacock blue and green and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it the pendant is relatively wet which is why uh, you know the stick beads are moving so obviously when it's when it's this wet i would suggest that you just leave it leave it to dry and not really pick it up like the way i'm i'm doing it here but i just wanted to show you because keeping it flat i think um, you, you may not be able to see it very clearly so this is it i really hope uh, you like the video if yes please uh, you know please like the video and subscribe uh, to our youtube channel and uh, again, thank you for all those uh, uh, who, who continuously uh, give me suggestions and feedback. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, that's very encouraging. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you.